But why? Shit! Grin, wait! Ah, dumbass. The rest of us are probably better off hanging back for now. Aye. You stay put. There's no telling who we're up against, Adam. But chances are this is a ring. Let's go check on the command post. Rieger? Now of all times? Out of my way! Shit! Gotcha! Should have left by now. But there's not a single lookout to be seen. We heard him screaming earlier, so where'd they get to? There are Grieger all over, too. This is starting to feel less and less like your typical raid. Doesn't seem like Gren's in the area either. Let's take our search elsewhere. Everyone! Crap! Not these things again! Have we here? Huh? A woman? Fall back! It isn't safe! You found some stragglers, did you? A shame they aren't quite what we're looking for. What? They may have fallen short of the mark, but that doesn't mean they can't be put to good use. I do so despise pointless waste, after all. It vexes me to my core. The, the hell are you on about? 
You there, redhead. Unlike the other inhabitants, you seem rather intriguing. Still, a miss is a miss. You'll simply have to serve me in other ways. Oh? There's something off about you. It, it healed! Doesn't that make her... A Grieger? In human form? No way to know if they're behind it all, but they damn sure played a part. <laughs> well, aren't we a vexatiously spirited bunch? Perhaps a little roughing up is in order before I bring you to heal. Here they come! What say I teach you some discipline? <laughs> Switch! Out of this! Sure you've got this? If only I hadn't run off all half-cocked. What's this? My wounds aren't healing? Don't tell me you two are the ones he was talking about. There. Another scar for the road. Can't be, you lowly human filth. I, Yer the Dorson, am not your canvas. <laughs> Never have I been so vexed! Wretched girl, don't think yourself more than a blustering mongrel! Come, my minions! What the hell are these guys? Grieger! All of them! Shred her face into a miserable pile of flesh! That wench will know humiliation! <sighs> We're on our last legs! Adol!
a good spot to rest. I should be asking the same of you. It's been quite some time since this island had a visitor. Or perhaps I should say that those who come to visit are never quite aware of it. I see. A pleasure to make your acquaintance at all. Welcome to Viewpoint Isle, the site of my solitary existence for forever and a day now.
Long have I been waiting upon this island. So long, in fact, that in time I have forgotten to what end I do so. Even my own name has escaped me. But, be that as it may, all I can do now is remain patient. You, on the other hand, appear to have elsewhere to return. I wish you all the best. Hey, Adol! This is no time to be spacing out! You okay? just now. Forget it. This is our chance to break through their ranks. Move out! Right! No pity. No mercy. No forgiveness! They think this is over. Evie! To me! How many limbs you have to tear off? Seize those gutter snipes and drag them back before my feet! <laughs> Let's hide out at the old shipyard for now. We can flee town from there. Yeah, Rosa and them are waiting on us. What's with that walking mountain? Another Greeker? Adol! There's a shortcut to the shipyard over this way! Adol! Gren! Hurry! The road's blocked! Let's break through! What the hell's that muscle head's problem? Either keep running or die wondering! Now it's barrels? Strong! Yeah! <laughs> 
Here? Then where did everyone else go? Shh. Hey, anything turn up? Nah, not a soul left to be found. <laughs> Am I crazy, or are those things talking? <sighs> These humanoid Grieger might be a nastier threat than we realized. Those brats from earlier must have been the only ones hiding out then. Oh yeah? And where are they now? I brought them along with. All humans are to be presented to Lady Yurv. They were captured? Stay calm? Our friends are in danger and you want me to stay calm? Screw that, I'll save them alone if I have to! <laughs> What can you possibly do? Son of fuck! Adding fuel to the fire will just make everyone burn. We're out of escape routes. Don't have the strength left to trade blows with that lunk. So instead, I'll hack off my hand and act as a decoy. That way, only one of us has to go down. It's been left to rot for who knows how long. But we got nothing else to lose. We made it to open waters. Let's try and meet up with the Balta Sea Force for now. Goes to show how off the wall this is. The lighthouse has gone dark, so the Sea Force should realize something's awry before long. Just our luck this had happened while Grimson's away. I'm still in rough shape. <sighs> Come here. I'll teach you the basics of handling a ship. A short break will do me some good anyway. Mind taking the wheel for me? coming after us. We were right to escape by boat. Set our heading west-southwest. First step is to meet up with the Balta Sea Force.
How about that? You're a regular coxswain already. Guess I can leave things be a while without you running us aground. I should have some of my strength back after resting up a bit. The helm's all yours in the meantime. I'd place us around halfway between Karnak and Balta Island right now. Seems you're starting to get a feel for steering. Hmm. About those humanoid Grieger, by the way. I'd never even known they existed. Your guess is as good as mine. The bestial kind's been showing up here and there in Obelia Gulf for a long time now. Me and Grimson, my old man, have been wiping him out with no one else the wiser. Some are in on it, others aren't. And I think Grimson's been making some kind of investigation into the Grieger, too. But he still won't tell me a damn thing. Other than that I should look into him myself if I'm so curious. Or that carving one's path through the waters is the Norman way of life. Probably. Of course, it's also possible that he just has nothing to share. Apparently, I started being able to use mana at around ten years old. Ever since, I've been tasked with culling the Grieger herd without ever knowing why. I always assumed an explanation would follow once I became a full-fledged warrior. So, with that as my guiding thought, I worked as hard as I could, and... well... In what way are we anything alike? What? And now you're just playing me for a sap. How could anybody be oblivious to the whole damn... Wait, is that what ends up happening when you're born and raised in the mountains? So, there's folks out there who know nothing about the ocean. And I knew nothing of them. That right. So the reason you set off was to learn more about the ocean? I wonder. Is there more I'd like to find out too? About myself, maybe? Sure. Something about you just raises my hackles. <laughs> Why'd it take me this long to... Hmm. 
Something the matter? Those ships... It's the Grieger. No two ways about it. Why else would they be barren our way? You've got us in fire and range. We're too short on manpower to fight our way out. One extra pair of hands on deck would at least give us a chance. Look no further, then. Just now, yeah. I've got a few choice words for you both. But there's bigger fish to fry right now, and I don't want to make another bonehead mistake. What can you do? I took artillery training as part of my drills in the militia. Cannon duty it is. Sure thing. I'll give it my best shot. All right, Adel. Prepare for naval combat. Enforcements? Shit! There's no end to them! <laughs> They're out to ram us! Who the heck? It's them! Right then, full speed ahead! Send a message to all vessels. Maintain spindle formation and crowd sails. From there, proceed as planned! Aye, sir. Baltar Sea Force, close in and prepare to board! For har! For har! Talk about swashbuckling. There's not a trace of fear on any of them. Aye. We wouldn't have the right to call ourselves Normans otherwise. Still, they're against the undead. It's a losing battle. Not for him. <sighs> Moment of truth. Let's get this over with. Fight well, Jarl Grimson. I won't be long.
pleasant evening to ya. Too bad. It's the last you'll ever get! How'd one guy do all that by himself? Wait, is he who I think he is? Grimson Balta. My old man, and the Jarl of the Balta Sea Force. Not just mana. He also triggered what we call a Berserker State. Berserk? What now? On top of wielding mana, he can go Berserk whenever he pleases. It's a form of combat that only develops in a select few, turning their heightened emotions into raw power. The user gains monumental strength at the cost of their senses, causing them to fight till their stamina runs dry. But from what I'm told, Grimson's got the power to bend it to his will. Excellently done, my Jarl. The enemy force is on a reciprocal course, in retreat most likely. Shall we give chase? Mm, pass. Those whore sons are like a lizard's tail, the way they always come back. I ain't letting you put my nose to the grindstone all willy-nilly. Be that as it may, do you suppose they were intending to turn Karnak into their stronghold? Far from it. They were only there to mount a search. Still, to think those Grieger would cobble together a whole damn fleet of their own. Guess that means the time's finally arrived. Hey! That ship's closing in on us! The Norgist, flagship of the Balta Sea Force. <laughs> Princess, I am relieved to see you unharmed. Same to you, Gunnar. Not once did I expect such an ordeal to befall Karnak. You would have avoided it entirely had I not insisted you remain there. My deepest apologies. It's fine. We'll be sending a scouting party to the town at once. Though you must be exhausted, we would have you recount the events to us later. Got it. Hoi there, Karja. Really went through the grinder today, eh? Huh? Grimson. <laughs> What's with the getup? You suddenly develop an eye for fashion? B bite your tongue! Eh, I suppose that's neither here nor there. Not with everything going to hell in a handbasket. That boy over there, the mana user? Seems to me like that goes the other way around, too. I've heard bits and pieces about what you've been through. Probably has your mind swimming in questions. I've only got one thing to say, though. You, lad, are gonna be helping us out. Can't have enough mono-wielders in these trying times, am I right? Crimson... Hey! Hold on a second! Those goons kidnapped the entire population of Karnak! They what? We didn't realize it had come to that point. Protecting the town was part of the deal my pops made with you, wasn't it? So go save them! If you don't, who will? Oh yeah, you're Clement's boy, ain't ya? Let me offer a little reminder. We Normans ain't defenders of justice. We're lawless brigands. It's in sight. 
the headquarters of the Balta Sea Force, and our home, Balta Island. Whoa. Sure is. I hear that Cruz has come here a couple of times for his dad's trading business, though. Man, what's gonna happen now? <sighs> I don't have a clue myself. But based on what Grimson said, you might be the one holding the key to all of this, Adel. Let me offer a little reminder. We Normans ain't defenders of justice. We're lawless brigands. We honor our contracts, but we do it our way. You there, Red. Where'd you say you came from? Heard an interesting rumor the day before yesterday up in Promalock. Seems some kid who was working in the port was able to get rid of the storm wall. Got rid of it? The whole thing? No way! And they say not too long after, that very same kid just decided to stroll on down our way. Well, would you look at that bright red mane? Way I hear it, hair that color you only find in the northern air open mountains. Gunnar, what do you make of this? Surely it can't be. And again, given what happened back in Karnak, Things are starting to get real interesting. It's clear to me that you're a pluckier lad than you look, Red. For now, I don't care whether the rumors about you are true or not. You keep to our stern till we're back at the island. And you're staying here with him, Karja. Shouldn't we take him into custody? He ain't going anywhere. Right? <sighs> Kept at arm's length, huh? Nothing. Anyway. We're about to enter port. Are those stakes coming out of the ocean? They're barricades to keep attacking enemy ships away. There are a lot of watchfires burning tonight. We've got more lookout station than usual. No, I don't think so. Everyone's probably just on high alert after realizing something went wrong in Karnak. More importantly, you two, get ready to dock. you identify yourselves and what's with the beat-up old boat you prisoners of war or something it's me Karja Grimson's daughter Karja <gasps> princess why are you dressed like that and why'd you sail in on this junker a lot happened in Karnak and these two are with me I need to report in about him ASAP. One of them is Mayor Clement's son. I'll look after him from here. War Chief Gunnar! Welcome back! Are those Grimson's orders? Yes. Our contract states that in the event of an emergency, we are to protect the Mayor's family. Gren, was it? Would you come with me? Like I've even got a choice. This is for your own safety. Adel, please don't worry about him. 
As for where you'll stay, Adol, I... Miss Karja! Hey, Ezer. Came to welcome me back? It seems everyone's gotten word of our return. Yes. I'm glad you're all safe. You must be Adol. Is that right? My name is Isa. I am a servant to the Bolter family. You'll be staying at the Bolter family lodge this evening, Adol. Please allow me to escort you there. It seems I can leave the rest to you. With that, Princess, I take my leave. The Arl will explain what comes next in due time, I'm sure. Got it. Now then, follow me, Gren. <laughs> well, Adol, be seeing you. Shall we be on our way as well, Miss Kaja? Yeah, let's go. Are you hurt, Miss Kaja? Or perhaps you feel unwell from inhaling too much smoke? I'm fine. Always the worry ward, aren't you? It's been one unprecedented circumstance after another recently. Adol's case included. I'm just so glad to see you're all right. Yeah, yeah. Beyond those walls is the residential area. The mayor's son will be spending the night there. The guy looked dead on his feet. But I guess I can't blame him. Our lodge is over there. About time we rest for the day ourselves. Let's turn in already. See you tomorrow. Over here, damn it! Now, listen up! Nothing pisses me off more than something coming between me and a good night's sleep!
Don't care. Just sleep over there. We have to bunk together like sardines during most sea voyages anyway. You are the type who can bed down wherever, right? Ah. <sighs> 